Welcome back to Street Smart. NXP Semiconductors is one of the world's largest designers of hardware and software for mobile communications and consumer electronics. Their recent partnership with Google on near field communication technology is one of the reasons the stock has more than doubled just since November. And today, the $7.4 billion company is announcing a new product called Green Chip that enables consumers to control every light in uh, his or her home through the internet. Joining me now is the CEO of NXP Semiconductors, Rick Clemmer. Rick, thanks for coming on the show. You actually brought some of the stuff with you, and it's interesting. Uh, you don't need to rewire the whole home. You have a light bulb product with a chip and a, and a piece that connects to your base station that will allow you to control your your lighting. Absolutely. So what we do is we actually have the uh, low power wireless capability that's implemented in the chip and then with the partners that we have, in this case GreenWave, has implemented a system that you can plug into your router to your internet point and then control with your smartphone basically your lighting and be able to track your energy consumption. We, we believe that about uh, thirty percent of all lighting energy in the home is wasted. It's used for heat as opposed to true lighting. And so if you can address that thirty percent, it offers the opportunity for significant energy savings, allows significant CO2 reduction, actually allows the world, specifically the U.S., to be able to address some of the energy concerns that most of us have. So you're talking about GreenWave as your partner in this. What's the near field communications uh, technology with Google that's been such a boon for, for the stock? Yeah, so NFC is a totally different technology. It's basically uh, uh, ease of use. This uh, phone is one of the uh, Google Android phones that basically has it as well. And so you can actually touch a point and be able to use it. My favorite application is, is you have a tag at Starbucks and where you go in and have to configure your, your uh, wireless capability and you, about six or seven minutes when you're walking out of Starbucks, you're online but you didn't get anything. This allows you to touch a tag and automatically configure your network so that you're on and available. What we do also is provide an electronic wallet with this the ability so that you can do all financial transactions by just touching the point of sale terminal and the ability to do that. It's all about convenience, ease of use, and then providing the bulletproof security associated with it as well. Now, I'd say very cool products, and it, interesting just from that perspective alone, but if you're an investor, also uh, the stock has been very interesting lately, and M&A has heated up. I have to ask you about <laughs> takeovers because uh, the Telegraph, which is a Dutch paper, has said Intel, Qualcomm, Broadcom are all companies that would love to buy you. So what's the story? Well, you know, we're, we have plenty of opportunities organically. We're focused on how we drive the organic growth. Our objectives are to ensure that we grow about 50% faster than the serve market, which will be faster than the overall semiconductor market. So by driving that organic growth, we think we can deliver real value for our shareholders in any case. But if someone came in, like in the case of the TI national offer, where they offered an 80% premium associated with it and allowed us to protect our customers and our employees, then we'd be very much uh, in considering that. Uh, because our, our real objective is how we maximize shareholder value, and uh, that gives us the ability to achieve that. So when I, when I used to cover telecoms, uh, a lot of the CEOs would say, hey, we're in talks with everybody all the time. Are you constantly talking with other companies that may be interested suitors? You know, we don't actually have any discussions. I mean, interestingly enough, several of those companies you mentioned are actually customers of ours, and so we've had discussions with them in the form of customer relationships associated with it. But again, for us, it's about the organic growth and how we drive that growth better than the rest of the served market. And really create shareholder value for our shareholders. So you're talking about organic growth. You mentioned it twice. Uh, does that rule out you making purchases? I mean, I know you've done a lot of things with part through partnerships. Any interest in picking up other companies to help you grow? You know, it doesn't rule anything out. In fact, the technology that we use this, the ultra low power wireless technology, is through a company that we acquired Genic in July of last year, was really the fundamental technology. So companies that provide technology tuck-in capability and technology to really serve a total solution are things that we're very focused on and would drive. But we're not interested in doing a merger of equals where you're going to get distracted on dry, trying to drive the synergies. Who we even believes in the merger of equals? What is <laughs> exactly. that? <laughs> exactly. Let, let's talk about uh, quickly about your, your outlook for organic growth. Uh, we had a story here on the Bloomberg that you're looking for 2 to 5% growth in this current quarter. Um, that doesn't sound so strong, I mean, especially considering the outlook for tech. Yeah, you know, the interesting thing is you have to also look at our Q1 results. So we grew 4.4% sequentially when most of our peer companies actually had a negative decline based on the typical seasonal pattern of the semiconductor I think about industry. 10% year over year as well. We did, 10%. And so what we were able to do was pull it forward some of our capacity additions that we would planned in Q2 and actually achieve that in Q1. So when you look at the 2 to 5%, it really doesn't tell the complete story. You have to look at the Q1 growth 
field that was much better than most of our peers combined with the outlook we have for Q2 to really be able to understand the picture and what we're doing. We feel very comfortable we'll be able to grow 50% faster than the serve market for the year. Got it. Well, very interesting stuff. Rick, thanks for stopping Great. by. Thanks for bringing some interesting products. Rick Clemmer there, the CEO of NXP Semiconductors. Coming